Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Casey, and on this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the reasons why you wanna take a look at upgrading or replacing your factory bumper on your Jeep. There are several reasons and advantages to taking off your original bumper that comes with your Jeep and looking at some of the aftermarket solutions out there. Guys, if you're new to the channel and you like my content, make sure you leave a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And if you're returning to the channel, this isn't your first time here, make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications. I'm uploading new videos every week. The first reason I want to talk about why you want to replace your OEM bumper with a aftermarket bumper is gonna be tire clearance. So once you start upgrading your tires, you go with a larger tire, especially if you're getting into a 37 inch tire and you're going with an aftermarket wheel with a little bit more offset, what's gonna happen is you're going to have turning radius issues. So when you start to turn, your tire is going to hit your factory bumper. Tire clearance is one of the things, one of the reasons why you wanna look at having an aftermarket bumper. It's gonna give you space for bigger tires and more turning radius and not have any clearance issues. So when you're looking at bumpers, they, you can look at full width bumpers, which are gonna maybe have a thinner section in the front so your tires don't have any clearance issues, but these are probably still gonna be legal in whatever region you're in. You're gonna have mid width bumpers, which are going to be a little less wide and they're gonna only partially cover some of your front tire. So you wanna check some of your local regulations on how much tire you're allowed to have exposed in front of your bumper. And then you're gonna have stubby bumpers, which are gonna have no end pieces and just be the center section of the bumper, exposing your entire tire to uh, the front of your vehicle. This is what I run on my Jeep and it has a lot of great advantages. Approach angles, obstacle approach, you're not hitting anything on your bumper. You're not gonna run into any issues ever when you're flexing your front end and your tires are turned or rotated at all. So another thing that almost every aftermarket bumper is going to come with is recovery points on it. You're going to see places to put D-ring shackles on or you can use soft shackles on and having two really solid, stable recovery points on your front of your Jeep is going to just make recovering your, your Jeep out of a situation easier and safer. If you have a high quality thick gauge steel bumper with properly welded on shackle mount points, you know that you can trust those to pull your Jeep out of any situation where you may be stuck, whether you're in the mud or you've got to pull your Jeep up a rock obstacle, something like that. You're not gonna to have to worry about where you're gonna attach a winch line or maybe a toe strap to, and you know that it's gonna be safe and that shackle point is not gonna come off of the bumper while you're doing your recovery. So another feature of aftermarket bumpers is going to be mounting options. So depending on which bumper you look at, you can take a look at mine. I've mounted a couple of light bars onto it in various locations. I have a hoop on my bumper where I was able to mount a 10 inch light bar to. Aftermarket bumpers are gonna give you more flexibility and have winch mounting plates so that maybe your winch is sitting on top of your bumper, giving you a bit more height or my bumper. My winch sits recessed lower to the ground. It's not blocking or impeding any airflow going into my grill. And some bumpers have fog light options where maybe you can replace with the OEM and put that into a round circle. Some of them have square mounting locations for lights where you can add an aftermarket solution. Just another feature of aftermarket bumpers is gonna be just how you can put different accessories and mount different things onto them. Another great advantage of aftermarket bumpers is just the protection of it. That bumper that you're looking at, a lot of them are gonna be quite thick gauge steel. They're gonna be able to take the impact from a rock. Maybe you're coming down, slamming the front on it. On my Evo bumper, I have an additional skid plate that bolts underneath it, protecting some of the underneath even further. Protection is a great advantage to having aftermarket bumper as well. These bumpers are gonna stand up a lot better to abuse and the type of situations that you would have off-road. Last but not least is style. There are so many different variations on aftermarket bumpers out there that you're gonna wanna look at all of them. There's lots of really good companies that are making solid, very reliable, 
great bumpers for aftermarket, but they all have some different nuances to them. And so a lot of it's gonna come down to personal preference. Once you've kind of narrowed it down to some of the reputable brands, you're going to have personal preference when it comes to what style of bumper you wanna have on your Jeep. So style can play a huge role in exactly which bumper you wanna pick for your Jeep. Once you get to a certain level of build quality, then it really comes down to how you want your bumper to look. You can also look at materials that your bumper is being made out of. So either steel or aluminum. They both kind of have some advantages and disadvantages. Steel is going to be a stronger material. It's going to be a bit more resilient to impact damage and just most abuse that you can put it through. But the thing that I find with steel is you're gonna have to get it powder coated, otherwise it's gonna rust. And anytime any of that powder coating is scratched off, you're gonna have to do some maintenance on it with probably some spray paint to prevent any rust from, from happening on that bumper. The other disadvantage to steel is that it is quite heavy. If you're comparing it to your other option, which is aluminum, aluminum will save you a lot of weight. And if we're only talking about a front bumper, maybe you're not saving a ton, but if you're considering all of the armor going on your Jeep, so front bumper, fenders, uh, rock sliders, rear bumper, tire carrier, skid plates. If you make a decision to go all steel, you're gonna add a lot of weight to your Jeep, where if you look at aluminum, there's certain circumstances, depending on where you wheel, where you can go with aluminum and really you're not compromising any strength or durability for the trails. The other nice thing about aluminum is that it doesn't rust. So it does oxidize, but it doesn't rust like steel does. You can maybe just clear coat it and go with a raw looked aluminum or you can powder coat it just like you would steel, but when it scratches off, you're not gonna have that risk of having rust coming through anywhere you may be missing powder coating or paint. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you've got to this point, I appreciate you checking out my videos. And if you did enjoy today's content, make sure you leave me a like. And if you're coming back to the channel and this isn't your first time, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. I do upload a video every week, and if you enjoy them, check them out. Don't forget to check me out over on Instagram, KC underscore 250. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching.